Hey guys, I'm Jordy, and now that Molten Core is cleared and we've got a good sense of the pain points, I thought it would be a good idea to collect a few tips for you that will help smooth out your raids and make sure you're prepared for anything. Okay, let's get into it. Tip number one, if this is your first clear, make sure that you don't kill Lucifron until you've completed the quests, the Molten Core and Agents of Hydraxis. For the Molten Core, you need to kill one of each type of trash mob, and then once that's done, you need to turn the quest back in an Ashara, then another real quick to check if you're honored with them, and then you're finally on Hands of the Enemy, which is to collect the hands off the lizard bosses. I've heard of a bunch of groups this week realize too late that they don't have a Dows because they didn't complete this quest and miss out on full clearing week one. All right, tip number two, on Lucifron, the ads that he's got mind control, but it only has a 20 yard range. So you can tank the ads a good distance away from everybody and only the tank on them will get mind controlled. Just throw them a quick dispel and the ads should be completely under control if you do it this way. Additionally, you can use the macro that I mentioned in the MC guide. This makes dispelling quick and easy with a simple button push. For tip number three, I'd recommend you build your fire resist set to not factor in a paladin aura or a totem buff to keep you above the threshold necessary to live. For heat three, that's 226, which if you've got Mark of the Wild, Juju Ember, and even Flask of Chromatic Resistance, which some classes aren't going to want to use, but for the sake of argument, you're looking at needing 159 from gear alone to be above that threshold. If you're not and you need the aura, the player giving it to you is kind of in charge of whether you live or die. And if they die or forget to move their totems, it's lights out for you. So be self-sufficient and plan ahead. All right, tip number four, a bunch of these fights have nasty debuffs that blanket the raid with curses or magic that can be difficult for your healers to remove. Lend them a hand by bringing a restorative potion. This ticks once every five seconds for 30 seconds, removing whatever ails you and helping keep your healers focused on keeping people alive. These are great for fights like Lucifron, Gehennis, Shazra, and Baron Geddon. Okay, tip number five, on Gehennis, the adds that come with the boss do a nasty AOE stomp that stuns anyone close to them. This can really screw up your raid if not handled properly, so have the tanks and any melee DPS pop a free action potion early to make sure that they're not hindered on the pull, pumping threat and safely getting the adds away from the boss. It's a simple thing, but it really does go a long way to getting this guy down safely. All right, tip number six. On our first clear, as we were learning the mechanics, we wiped a few times and would then be greeted by an annoying core hound or two that respawn once every 20 minutes. These caused wipes for us during prog, so we started a timer to make sure we knew when they would respawn so that they wouldn't interfere with our boss pulls. This is simple information, but saves a lot of heartache. Blizzard might adjust their spawn long term, so we'll see. Feels fast to me. All right, tip number seven. On Shazra, he puts up a nasty reflect magic buff that can really interfere with your caster's effectiveness. Assign a warrior to shield slam it in glad stance to remove it and keep your casters pumping on him, shortening the fight and smoothing it out. All right, and tip number eight, kind of like I mentioned before, but as you build your FR set, consider using a flask of chromatic resistance or juju ember to put you above the required amount. Physical DPS really have no other options here except Titans, which are definitely good, but if you're trying to pump damage, you can eliminate a worse fire resist item by using this consumable and maybe bring some extra for someone who might not be quite up to snuff on their FR. Be a bro, help a friend out. Okay, tip number nine. On the Molten Core, the elementals that spawn with the boss will fixate on the water elementals that you need to protect, but they're all tauntable, stunnable, and fearable, so you can mess with them as you DPS them down and prevent them from attacking your new watery friends. Additionally, at some point, you can call for the raid to just focus the boss and ignore the adds, and having someone run in with a timely AoE fear can really disrupt them and keep the elementals alive that much longer, giving you more time to finish the fight. And finally, on Ragnaros, and this is something that I didn't know because we never really wiped on him back in the day, but he does quickly eat away the durability of anyone who's attacking him in melee range with something called Melt Weapon. To counter this, we dropped a repair bot in melee range that we could hit if things were looking dire and didn't have to move an inch to do it. 
handy, easy, and you should hopefully have some repair bots laying around anyways for your raid, so bring an extra for this fight. Okay, well that's it for some Molten Core tips. I hope your MC raids have gone smoothly this week. I know mine did. Are you just getting killed by the Clobber really Breath? The pause the yeah. But death. Yeah. Okay, so... It's like, what? What? Tank if I'm totally honest, there. that's kind of disappointing. If you want to come chat about MC, head on over to my Twitch channel where I stream most days at twitch.tv slash jordy. And if you like this video, I have a bunch more saw stuff coming as well as Cataclysm, Fireland stuff on the horizon. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. GG brothers. Smoke core. Alright, phase two. Here we go. Nice. Oh god.